Hello, ladies, and happy, happy, happy question of the week. So if this is your first question of the week video, this is actually going to be question of the week number four. I do have a question of the week playlist, so I'll just go ahead and link it somewhere over here so you can see all the previous questions. So what I'm doing is one question a week, they are all based off of the TTC tag. And so each week I take a question in order and then I answer it. In the meantime, in between time, if you have a question, you can be sure to leave them below and then I can go ahead and answer it in a future video. And so sometime soon, I actually will be doing a viewer's question of the week because I recently received one that I think people um, will be interested in finding out the answer to. So this question of the week, I'm actually super excited about because with these videos, some of you know the answers, some of you don't. Um, but I try to like give more insight into details about that specific question other than just saying, oh, well, we've been married for blah, blah, blah years. All right, video over, see you later, bye. So the question is, how long have you been married? And I'm excited about this question because I have some things to share with you and stuff like that. So me and my husband have been married four years four glorious years. Uh, we got married on April 7th of 2013. We are actually going to be celebrating our five-year wedding anniversary coming up pretty soon and this coming April and we're actually renewing our vows. We've been talking about it since, I don't know, maybe year three or so. We're one of those people that like to kind of give a new start and fresh start to everything almost yearly but we have not done that it's it's really funny because I was talking to my sister about singing our song at my viral renewal that's coming up and she sang the song that I walked down the aisle to at my wedding and she's like well you guys done got married like two times already <laughs> and so what she was referring to is the fact that we got married um, April 7th of 2013. And then the following year, we renewed our vows in Mexico because we wanted to have like a whole tropical. It's a long story, but I'm going to leave a link to our vow renewal from 2014 down below as well. It's not on this channel. You know what? I think that I'm going to mash the whole video up. So get some tea, get some coffee, get some chips because I'm getting ready to do a very large mashup. I just thought about that. Like I don't have to send you to this video and that video. I can actually mash the whole thing together in one really long video. Um, but anyway, the reason why I was excited about this question is because many moons ago, back when I didn't have very many subscribers, I did something called the wedding story tag in August of 2014, about a year after I got married. And in that particular video, I answered all sorts of questions about my wedding. I showed pictures, I showed video of my sister singing, all sorts of things. And I know the vast majority of you did not see it because you were not here at that time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a flashback of the video from 2014 so that you can go ahead and see all the answers to all sorts of questions about my wedding, um, pictures from my wedding, what I looked like, what my reception dress was, what kind of food we had, pictures from that, what our cakes looked like, how our honeymoon was, all sorts of things. I actually have honeymoon vlogs as well. So maybe I will, I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about this. I'm gonna have to think about this because I may have to import the honeymoon vlogs and then put them here later. Um, but yes, and so that, tag I absolutely loved because I got a chance to share with you everything that I did how I planned what I was doing all sorts of things so I'm gonna pop that in here so that you can see all of everything about our wedding and then two following that I'm going to also pop in um, a few clips from our vow renewal that we did on our one year wedding anniversary in Mexico and just to give you a kind of backstory to how that happened we ended up getting married um, in Queens, in New York, and we really are travelers. We love traveling, we love the Caribbean islands, we love all sorts of things. Um, and we wanted to really get married like on some type of island or just somewhere different than where we were getting married. But we knew that everybody that we would have wanted to be there would not have been able to make it because of the cost involved with the actual trip. So we decided to get married 
so that everybody can come and see and all that stuff. And then the following year, we decided to go ahead and renew our vows in Mexico. We didn't tell anybody that we were re renewing our vows. Um, we were a part of a cruise group. Usually when we go on cruise, we go on a website called Cruise Critic. And so we were a part of a cruise group and I kind of just invited the whole group to it, even though no one knew, none of our family, none of our friends knew that we were going to have our renews vowed and do, re renew our vows and kind of do our wedding over because we really wanted to have an island wedding. Um, and so I went and I had random strangers at our vow renewal that we did in Mexico. We paid for a cake, we paid for a photographer, um, we had a little thing, we had chair sashes and covers and I made favors and did invitations to everybody. Come, when I tell you complete strangers complete strangers but we had such an amazing time and it was so worth it we had such a good time and so i want to share that with you as well so i don't want to blabber too much because there's going to be a lot left to this video so first let's start with the wedding tag and then following the wedding tag if you're still here with me then you will see the clips from our actual viral renewal from our one year All right, so let's get this party started. Uh, if you see me looking down, I'm only looking at my iPad for the questions. And I will post these questions in the description box just in case you are interested in doing the wedding story tag. Uh, so question number one, how long did you date your spouse before being engaged? I would say all together we dated for about three years before we were engaged. We dated when we were younger. I met my boyfriend, my, my boyfriend. I met my husband when I was 16, and we dated till I was about 18. Then I went away to college, and we broke up because I was gonna be viewing the world and doing tons of things. And I figured, well, he lives here, and I'm gonna be over there, so he might as well break up. And then when we got together again as adults, we dated, and I believe he proposed to me just about eight months into our relationship as adults. So altogether, about three years. Question two, where did you meet your spouse? I met my spouse at a baby shower. He was best friends with my cousin, and who's a male cousin, and my cousin was having a baby shower. He was a teen and his girlfriend was a teen. They had a little mishap and they had a baby shower. So he went to the baby shower, he saw me, he just was totally smitten, had to meet me, had to talk to me, wanted to get to know me, and I was like, no. Okay, not because I didn't like him, but I was 16 at the time he was 19. My husband is two years older than me, but because of where our birthdays are, it seems like he's always three years older than me. But anyway, he wanted to talk to me and he wanted to take me out and walk around the park and have a conversation and get to know me. And I was younger and I came with my grandmother and my, um, and my nana and... My grandma. Hey, my grandmother, my stepmother, and my father. And I was just like, uh, no, you are trying to get me beat. I'm not going to be leaving out here, going to talk to you, walking around the park, so then they can come look for me, not find me, and be ready to kill me when they see me with you. But anyway, we met at a baby shower. How long was your engagement? My engagement was a year and a half, approximately. I got engaged September 10th. Ooh. I got engaged September 15th of 2011 and we got married on April 7th of 2013. Next question. What is your anniversary? My anniversary is April 7th. Although we have a million different days that we like to celebrate and just commemorate and things like that. One one thing that we have is like this love day that we celebrate and it's uh, June 12th, and that's because June 12th of 2003 was the very first day that he said that he loved me. And so we always celebrate 612. And sometimes, instead of saying, like, I love you on the end of text messages and things, we'll say 612. And we know that it means, I love you. All right, so next question. This is question number five of 22 questions. I forgot to say that. 22 questions in this tag. Uh, how large was your wedding, guests, and bridal party? Okay, I don't think that I had a pretty large wedding. I would say I had a small to medium sized wedding. We had just under 80 guests, which was our goal. And my bridal party was small. It was 
uh, two bridesmaids, one a maid of honor, and my husband had two groomsmen and one best man. But we ain't even gonna talk about that best man thing, okay? But yes, it was quite small. And then I had a ring bearer, and I didn't have any flower girls, so my bridal party was pretty small. Who walked you down the aisle? My dad walked me down the aisle, and it was just so sweet and so amazing you know i wish i heard the words from my parents like what they wanted to say to me and things like that uh, before my wedding but i told them not to say anything because as soon as my parents started to talk they instantly started to get all teary-eyed and watery and i was like oh lord i'm be crying and messing up my makeup and my mama's gonna be crying we all gonna be looking looking cray cray um but yeah it was my dad that welcomed me down the aisle and it was just it was just amazing were you a bridezilla? No, I wasn't a bridezilla. I wasn't a bridezilla because uh, I had a year and a half to plan my wedding. And I told my bridesmaids from the very beginning, like what it was, <laughs> like what it was. I told them from the very beginning, you know, I just want to meet, to meet together once a month because I had a lot of do-it-yourself projects to get done and I needed their help. So I would have like one Saturday out the month, have them all come to my house and I would pay for like food for them to eat and we get together for about three hours and get all my stuff together. I did, however, have them sign a bridal contract, which I think I still have. So if I still have it, I will do a bonus clip at the end of this video and read it to you and show it to you. But I know I have pictures. So, but no, no Brazil over here. No Brazil. All right, so number eight is not a question, but it says to show you guys a picture of me in my wedding dress. So, here it is. Number nine, did you buy your dress new or hand it down? My dress was actually brought new. My mom bought it for me. Um, my veil was like a hand-me-down, I would say. I had a thing where I wanted a really big, beautiful, long cathedral veil. And then I saw the really big, beautiful, long cathedral veil prices. I was like, um, that ain't gonna work. I'm not paying $200 and $300 for a long veil. So one day I was going past the Salvation Army by my house and they had a dress, like an old time wedding dress that looked real crazy, but that dress had an amazing veil. It was a really nice long veil, but it was old time. So it had like a, a little thing you sit on. If I can find a picture, I'll show you what it looked like. But it had a little thing where you plop it on your head and it looked like a helmet. Anyway, uh, so I cut that bad, bad boy up. Took off, the hood, took off the little hood thing, washed it, got pearls, added the pearls to it, and created a brand new veil. And I put like little uh, rhinestones all over the flowers and everything. If I can find you the before and after pictures of that veil, then I will show you. It was worth every penny. Uh, at the Salvation Army, they made me buy the dress with the veil, and I didn't even want it. But I was like, okay, well, if I have to buy the dress with the veil, how much is it? The lady was like $25. I was like, so check please <laughs> next question uh what was your wedding color slash theme um my wedding colors were purple and yellow it was purple lavender and yellow and the purple was because that's my favorite color i absolutely love everything purple and yellow was because i got married in the spring and i saw a lot of beautiful pictures with what purple and yellow look together. And so it came all together nice and beautifully. I didn't have a ton of yellow, but I would say mainly purple because purple's my thing. All right, so the next question is, what song did you walk down the aisle to? That is a very good question. I do not remember the name of the song, like the title of the song, uh, but I can put a clip here, I believe. Because I had my little sister sing the song a cappella for me to walk down the aisle to, and she was absolutely amazing. I don't know if I have a clip of her without the music, but there was a little bit of a mishap. But I will post a clip here. If I still have that clip of my little sister singing, I will post a clip here, and I will post the name of the title of the song as well. I found you. I found what it
What was something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue? That's a good question. Okay, so something old was my veil. Something new was my dress. Something borrowed, I don't remember. But something blue was my, um, my garter. My garter was blue. Was it a destination wedding? No, I did not have a destination wedding. I would have loved a destination wedding, but that would have never worked because of all the family that we wanted to have, all the family and friends. No, so it was more important for us to have them there for our actual wedding day than do a destination wedding. However, you probably know by now, we had a destination vow renewal. And if you haven't seen any pictures from there, I will post them now. And I will also leave the official video to our vow renewal that we did in Costa Maya, Mexico this year. Number 14, what shoes did you wear for the ceremony slash reception? I actually wore the same exact shoes in two different colors. So I got these really cool kitten heel, kitten heel shoes where the heel was like this low, like a little sling back on them. They were white uh, and I'll show a closer picture of that. And then I got the same exact shoes in purple for the reception because I had two different dresses. I had a white dress and I had a purple dress. And for the purple dress, same shoes and they were cute. And I think I might have paid $40 for each pair, maybe. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I love them. Was your dress bustled? If so, what type of bustle was it in picture? No, I'm going to guess my dress wasn't bustled because I probably would know what that was if it was. So No, it wasn't bustled. What was your favorite part of your wedding? Oh, my favorite part of my wedding. Man, that's a hard question. I loved everything. I loved everything about my wedding. My, I remember everything about my wedding ceremony, getting prepared, my husband's vows, my vows, the minister's words, everything. Now, it's the reception where everything was just shot. I can't. I can't tell you everything that happened at the reception. My memory is very foggy um, with the reception. And it's not because I was drunk or anything, because I don't drink, but because I was pulled in so many different places, I don't remember everything like that my family remembers. My family remembers dancing and having fun, and oh, this person was dancing like that, and that person was dancing like that, and we was getting down, and we was doing it up. It, I don't remember that. I don't remember that and that was because a lot of my time at the reception was being pulled to take pictures with people every two seconds I was being pulled get a picture get a picture can I get a picture with you can you come here can you go over there can you sign this hair can you get a cheese yeah okay so my, my favorite part of my wedding was the ceremony I remember everything from the very beginning to the ceremony did you have a reception give brief details that's a good question, because I just told you guys, I'm foggy of details. Uh, dancing, DJ, or MP3, food, throw your bouquet. Okay, so there was tons of dancing. My family danced, they dance, they get down. They, they really do. From the moment the music comes on, to the moment it goes off, dancing up the stairs and out the building, they danced the night away, the whole entire time. Uh, we had a DJ of which I absolutely loved. No, I would not have been a band there. They would not have been a band there. Uh, food. Okay. So we had lots of different food. I'll just have to show you a picture. I did not really eat it. I had about two spoonfuls when I was at my reception. And then after the wedding, way late at night, I had like some leftovers from it because I was then realizing that I was starving at about 11 p.m. on my wedding night. So I'll just show you a picture. But we had a whole big buffet line and it was all good. It was, it was fun, everybody enjoyed themselves. Throw your bouquet. Yes, I threw my bouquet and my garter and it was fun, fun times. Some young people won it, so it was kind of awkward. Uh, but it was fun. Did you smash cake in your spouse's face? No. No, I didn't do that. No, I didn't do that. Because if I would have done that, then I know he would have did it back and I would have been pissed off. So there was no smashing of cake in anybody's face. But for our cakes, we absolutely loved our cakes. We had a bride's cake and a groom's cake. I will show you the picture. On my cake, I had a Pepsi theme because, of course, you guys know, I love me some Pepsi. If you didn't know, you just learned something new. I 
absolutely love me some Pepsi. And the reason why you probably may not have known that is because I've been TTC and because I've been TTC, I've been straying away from caffeine and Pepsi has a lot of caffeine in it. But, ooh, honey, chill. I love me some Pepsi. And then my husband's was, his cake was like a PlayStation 3 and it was absolutely wonderful. So we love, 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 love them. But there was no smashing the cake over here. What type of flowers were in your bouquet? I actually made my bouquet. So my bouquet was silk flowers and they look like purple roses and I'll be able to show you pictures. I did all of the bouquets for my wedding. I did my bouquet, I did um, my bridesmaids bouquets, I did all of the guys' boutonnieres. Anything flower related, I did. I did the centerpieces for my wedding. Let me tell you, it was work, but it was so worth it and everybody loved them. Love, love, love them. They were definitely um, a labor of love and I gave away every single centerpiece in the house when that reception was over. And when I go to my relative's house, I see it on the table. Like my grandmother's house, as soon as you walk in, she has the centerpiece on her table. And they were big, they were really big, big centerpieces. And then when I go to my in-law's house, house in Virginia, they got theirs all the way back to Virginia and they have it in their house, it was pretty nice. Did you have, uh, did you have anything special to represent Unity. Yes, I did. We had a unity candle. Uh, and my we had one big unity candle. So Stephen's mom lit one candle and my mom lit another candle. And then we lit the unity candle together. It was very nice and it was very special. Share your favorite picture from your wedding. I have lots of favorite pictures. So I'm just going to share a few because I know I don't have specific. Well, you know what? All right. I do have an all-time favorite. I have an all-time favorite picture. So I'm going to show the all-time favorite picture here. And if you feel comfortable, post a picture of your bridal party. So I will post a picture of my bridal party if you have not already seen them in here. Uh, and for our first dance, the one thing they didn't ask about, but our first dance we did one of those kooky dances where it starts off like you're dancing a nice slow music john legend and the next thing you know we were doing gungnam style and all sorts of other crazy things and everybody absolutely loved it